Alright, so <laughs> get this all set up. This is going to be a pick a card April 2019 reading for Gemini because I know there are a lot of Geminis out in the world, so I would rather you guys be able to pick a card. Now, for those of you that do better with crystals, I can actually grab a couple. So I'm going to pop the citrine right here. I don't know how well you can see that. This is citrine. And this is smoky quartz. All right. Now, trying to get that right perfect sight here. Um, so, all right. So, what we have here is two pick a card readings. This is deck one, and this is deck two. All right. Now, Whatever you feel most called to, there's smoky quartz right there. There's citrine right there. Now, if you feel called to a certain crystal, I encourage you, that's probably the deck for you. If you can't take your eye off one of the decks, that deck is probably the best one for you. Now, um, the other way you can do this is you can take a pendulum, which... Um, Basically, it's just a weighted item with either a crystal or something on it. You can even use a necklace. Believe it or not, it's just a weighted item. You can wave a pendulum. You can hold a pendulum in front of any of them, and it will choose the deck for you. Um, so basically, you can even use a necklace as a pendulum, but it's best to probably use a crystal as a pendulum, a crystal necklace, which I have plenty of crystal necklaces. But, you know... Um, but I would, I, I would recommend more crystal pendulums than anything. Um, all right. So where, if you need to pause the video to choose, go ahead and pause it. Um, take a deep breath in and out, which deck do you feel most drawn to? Um, all right, we're going to get right in. I do have some base cards for Gemini today, and this is for actually both spreads, so please stay tuned for this. Um, all right. So one, one of the cards in the base spread for Gemini is don't be de deterred by challenges along the way. It's important to communicate clearly and accurately amazing new ideas that should be implemented so I feel like some of you have had challenges along the way and your guides, your spirit guides, God, the angels, whatever your beliefs may be, they're telling you don't be deterred by them because abundance is coming. Like things are, are looking up. Um, they're, they're saying have patience, but start making a, like, I feel like some of you want to make long-term plans with a person, which um, I definitely feel a relationship vibe from both of them because I did pull Romance Angels cards as well. But I got a relationship vibe from all of the cards. Um, so, yeah. I feel like some of you want to make long-term plans with people know that it's okay to do that because it's going to be time for that. I feel like a lot of you have done some deep and emotional healing, healing from the past. Some of you may have gone through divorce. Some of you um, are also going through um, spiritual uh, awakening or spiritual changes. You may, um, some of you may be experiencing clairaudience, clairvoyance, clairsentience, claircognizance. Um, but also this spiritual path, this, this card here, this turquoise card, which is the Crystal Angels card. Uh, it's from the Crystal Angels deck by Doreen Virtue. It says, your true beliefs are becoming clearer to you, which prompts you to make necessary life changes. So I feel like you're, you're finding the light and the darkness, um, and things are becoming clearer to you on what you really want because a lot of you want to make this long-term relationship with people. Um, and... You've worked hard to create things you cherish in your life, such as beloved relationships, amazing accomplishments, 
hearth and home. Rest assured that these are treasures and you are being constantly protected by your angels in return. Mother Earth and animals and the environment need your protection. So for some of you, you may need to, you may like to spend time out in nature um, to clear your head. Um, just know you're doing the right thing. And the things that you've worked hard on, such as relationships, jobs, um, good things are coming from that. Um, because the death card is the transformation card, okay? And it uh, shows that a transformation is coming for all Geminis. This, this, this part of the reading is for all Geminis. And then we've got the Ace of Cups. This transformation is a very positive transformation. Um, basically the divine, God, the angels, they're stepping in and saying, okay, it's time to rise up from those troubling times. The death card isn't about death, by the way. The death card is nothing about death. The death, is all, the death card is all about rebirth, rising from the ashes and um, finding clarity. And the Ace of Cups is the divine intervention is coming in, but I feel like a lot of you, your cup is full and you're ready to also offer your cup of love to people. So that is the majors for both spreads in Gemini. Um, now the next thing you can do is you can fast forward to the decks, but we're going to go ahead and start with deck one, which is this one, the Citrine. And uh, we'll leave deck two for the next one, and I'll set that aside. All right. And I'll put in the description that uh, to stay for that majors on the jammies. So. Also, if you guys are looking for awesome tarot reads, go check out Ramblin' Mike. He's awesome. He's one of my favorite tarot readers on YouTube. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see what we've got here for Gemini for deck one. Okay. I'll lay these out. Now the tarot deck I am using, I will always, I will tell you what it is. Just in case some of you are looking for tarot decks of your own. Now, Gemini did have a very, very, very large read. All right. Let me just see. What am I prompted to read first? Okay. Okay, thank you. All right. So, Gemini. I see the Four of Pentacles here. You've been striving for balance, and I feel like you're finally going to start finding it. Um, and you've been, I feel like you've been trying to balance things with work and home, and I feel like you've just been, what I see here is you've been torn. Um, like, you've had some great emotional healing go on, but you're torn because, like, I feel like you're trying to get some to somebody you really care about, um, and they are your star, man. They are your star. You love them so much, or you care for them so much. If you haven't developed love for them yet, you care for them a lot, and maybe you fantasized about having marriage with them or um, a deep, committed relationship. Um, I will be doing a sexual connection for Gemini when I get my Tarot of Sexual Magic deck, um, and for all the other astrological signs as well. So, yeah, you've just been, you've been going through a lot. Um, because I also see, like, what do I feel compelled to pull? The Seven of Wands. Yes, we've got the Seven of Wands here. Um, we've got the Seven of Wands here. You felt like, I felt like some of you felt really backed into a corner. Some of it was with divorce. Um, some of it was with work. Like, you just felt like, damn, when can I get a break is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing, when can I get a fucking break? Um... Look at the Prince of Swords here. I feel like you're standing strong. You're standing tall. You're standing tall in your beliefs. You're saying, I am not going to give up. I will not give up because, you know, I know I can do this. I'm hearing, I'm not going to give up. I, I, I stand for what I believe in. I know 
somehow, because we got the magician down here as well, I know somehow I can get to this. And that four of wands is that healthy relationship that you want with somebody. Um, and also, I feel, I feel like you really see them. They're really beautiful or attracted to you. They're very, very beautiful. Um, there's a strong magnetic sexual attraction for some of you. Um, and I feel like you've been, uh, you have been taking your time trying to get things in order, which is just fine. And I feel like for some of you, your partners are very patient with you and you like that. Um, but the Ace of Pentacles here, uh, I feel like some Geminis want to offer something, um, a sense of stability because justice is all about stability. They want to offer the stability in this relationship right here. Um, for some Gemmies, they want to offer love or, you know, more time, more commitment to this, to this relationship. Um, they're trying to push forward this change. I feel like the, they're trying to push forward a change in career, um, or like a move in career or something having to do with a move in career, um, for some of you, which, um, I really feel that strongly because we've got the new career card. If you're trying to push forward a move on the career, um, I have the six of swords with the six of wands for some reason and the six of pentacles. So I feel like you're going to be successful. Um, if, if you're trying to get this new career, yeah, you're going to be successful because also in this new career card, it also says your work focus is shifting in positive new successful directions. So if you're looking into a new career, just know it's going to work out. Um, it's definitely going to happen for you. I feel like you're, you're traditional, you're a very traditional person. You're like, okay. Um, but you also know when you got to work on you, you also know when you've got to work on other people. Um, but also the hero fat here is, um, by this justice card, like, okay, this is what I'm seeing. You see, whoever this is that you are with, you look at them and you see them as so balanced and making some of you wonder how does, how do they do it? I'm getting how does she do it, but for some of you, but how does, how do they do it? That's what I'm getting. And you feel like, and th this is where I said there's a sexual connection. So this is fiery, fiery energy. This is passionate energy. This is the king of wands. There is some passionate energy here in really wanting to give something. And I feel like some of you are wanting to give a very strong commitment, but also you guys really love the sexual connection in between you guys. Um, you want to give, for some of you, you want to give pleasure to somebody. Um, that is what I am hearing. Um, you got the nine of wands. You're going to do anything and everything in your power to get through this. Um, and in order to do that, I feel like you guys are really listening to your gut and listening to how you're, you're, you're going to be able to do this because we got the alien card and alien card is about going inside and kind of Alien card is basically, um, what's it in the traditional deck that the hermit in the traditional deck, I feel like you have gone into hermit mode at one point to really truly think about things and say, okay, I'm going to do anything I can. I'm going to do it. And I, I see arrows piercing his heart and I feel like you guys have been hurt in the past, but you're like moving forward. By the way, this deck is the David Bowie deck, um, the Star Man Tarot. This deck is um, the Gilded Tarot. And this deck is the Tarot Illuminati. All right. What else am I seeing? I'm seeing that you guys are really trying to balance finances and you want a transformation in your finances too. You want to get stable. I'm hearing alimony involved in all of this so like maybe there was some divorce situation that that caused money to being an issue but i feel like you're getting 
you're you're figuring it out because this is a six, a six of wands, uh, or, or a six of pentacles. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the six of wands right next to it because you're going to be successful in it. Um, the six of wands proves success towards your money, and I feel like you're working on this tower moment because you were hurt in the past and you're just like you're sick and tired of like waiting for shit to get real is what I'm hearing you want shit to start working out in your way and I feel like you've been in this depressed state and you want to move out of this depressed state and I feel like whoever this person is because as I have him lined up he's walking toward that he's he's trotting toward that star okay Whoever this is, you feel like they make you so happy and they they have the ability to help you um, come out of this depression. And I feel like, I feel like they've been divinely sent to you and I feel like strongly, okay, soulmate, twin flame relationship here, soulmate, twin flame. Now... Definitely, I, I'm feeling a strong twin flame vibe for a lot of you. It's, and a late, it's like some of you, some of you may be, be seeing a lot of sixes. A lot of sixes. No, that is your ticket to, okay, I'm finally succeeding. Um, a lot of you are also seeing sevens. Um, I know I'm seeing a lot of sevens as well. Um... Let's see, what else am I seeing? I'm getting some of you may go outside and look at the stars at night. Just try to wish on those stars. You're waiting for your shooting star to come by so you can wish on it. You enjoy being out in nature. A lot of you may be seeing 1111 or getting messages at 1111 or waking up at 1111. There's a lot of 11-11 going on. Um, some of you may be seeing a lot of twos as well. I'm getting two seven sixes and 11-11. Um, for some of you, there may even be some 12-12s in there or two twelve in there. Um, not all of you. But these are number synchronicities trying to show you that, hey, you're going to succeed. Every time you see a double number on the clock, it's saying, and, and you're like thinking about something, just know whatever you're thinking about in that moment, you're probably on the right track with what you're thinking about. Or if you're thinking about making a certain move and you see like the same numbers on the clock, like two twos or 555 five, five, or something like that on the clock, just know that that's telling you, yes, go ahead and make that move. Um, If you're, because I feel like some of you are really thinking about moving forward um, to making a steady commitment with this person here, because this is how the cards are lined up so down here. You're moving forward to make a steady commitment. And the reason why I say steady is because justice is here. And I feel like you're balancing karma as well. You're getting rid of all that bad karma bullshit. You may have been in a karma karmic relationship as well. Um, and you just got tired of it and you said, okay, I'm tired of being backed into a corner. And you decided to move forward with the Six of Wands, which is success. All right. There's nothing else I'm seeing in those tarot right now, but I do have more tarot down here. So we're going to go ahead and look at these and see what we got. We've already discussed the new career. This is a very large read for Gemini. And then we've got a dietary change. Improve your diet, your life so life will also improve. So for those of you that may be having dietary problems or stress eating, know that the dietary change can improve your life. And I'm getting patience, please. Everything's going to work out. And for some of you, some of your prayers, like, like, like all of the prayers, I feel like mm, something is coming in the wintertime. Um... For, for some of you, something's happening in the winter time. For some of you, there may be a future marriage in the winter time, a future 
um, move in together or something, something in the winter time. But something in the winter time, it really feels like, it feels like you're really going to see just how strong your relationship is by winter time too. Um, but also some of you are going to start, okay, this is what I'm getting from my guides. For those of you in a relationship with a Gemini or a Gemini, you may have prayed for something. I feel like the winter time is going to show you a lot more financial stability. Um, and a lot more, I feel like you and your partner are going to be going strong by winter time, like very, very strong. And some of you may even dream about getting married to them in the winter time. Um, not all of you or some of you may be thinking about daydreaming about marriage. Um, I'm strongly getting marriage in winter time. I'm strong, I'm strongly hearing marriage. I'm strongly hearing money in the winter time, marriage and money in the winter time. I, that's what I'm hearing. Um, I'm getting new home. I feel like this is going to happen. Like, um, with the new home, I feel like this has something to do with some of you are moving in together, uh, with your soulmate twin flame and you're going to have this um this this really good connection and you're going to move in together and I feel like also you daydream about moving in together with them as well you daydream about having that happy home life with them um Whatever you're doing, you're moving in the right direction, though. Um, and I do have the basis of your question involves your romantic life, which is now changing for the better. So if you are wondering where your romantic relationship is going, it's it's transforming for the better. And um, I do got justice coming in again. Fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. So I feel like you're really going to do what's right. You're, I feel like you're going to make decisions together, um, you and your, your pair. I really feel like this is your pair making decisions together. And I really also feel like this is also making money decisions. But the reason why I say that you, uh, you and your partner might be making decisions together is because we got the Two of Summer or the Two of Cups in um, the traditional tarot. And it says, falling in love or making a serious commitment to someone, forgiveness and resolution to a problem, don't give up, your relationship can be healed. So it's saying, don't give up, your relationship can be healed, don't give up on it. Um, and the reason why I'm telling you not to give up on this relationship, oh man, because we got this coming in right here. But I feel like a lot of you think you can find true love with this person as well. Uh... I feel like a lot of you already think you, you're, you're, you're finding true love. And I feel like some of you want to come forward. And I'm getting very soon, some of you want to come forward and say, Hey, I think you could be the one, you know. And I feel like there's going to be some very passionate, heavy sexual alone time. Um, is what I'm getting. Very passionate, heavy sexual alone time together. And we do got the gifts of money, time, effort, new career opportunities, receiving a loan or paying off debts. So money is going to be solved. Yes. That is also known as the Six of Pentacles, I believe, in the deck. And we have the Six of Pentacles twice. <laughs> um, okay, we've got the Seven of Autumn. This is have patience. Don't worry. You're, you're like, you're really worrying too much. You're investing your time too much in worries. That's what this feels like. Yeah, you, you're just, you've been all up in your head. Don't worry so damn much because you've been all up in your head. Again, this can play out from your partner's perspective as well. Um, so, but I strongly feel like 
This is both people have been up in their head thinking about stuff, daydreaming about stuff. I think you've both been daydreaming about this Two of Cups, this relationship, this hey, oh my goodness. Both of you have been daydreaming about this, but I really strongly feel this is Gemini coming forward and saying, hey, I, I feel something for you. Um, we got the Three of Spring. Plan your next steps with the eye of the long term. Have patience. There are more good things to come. Satisfaction from a job well done. So this Three of Spring, um, this is really saying that there is going to be time for celebration. It's a major, major time for celebration. There's just going to be like some long, I feel like for, for some of you, you're going to actually make that long-term commitment or you want a long-term commitment with this person. Um, very, very much so. And uh, then we got the King of Summer. That's um, if my if my video cut out for a minute there, I got a message. Um, okay, we've got the King of Summer, a romantic partner you can trust, excellent advice that comes from the heart, getting involved, cultural, creative endeavor. Okay, so some of you may have been going through something and you want to talk to your partner about something, just know you you can trust that romantic partner, Gemini. Both of, you know what? And dear romantic partner of Gemini, if you're cross-watching, you can trust the Gemini too. Very, very much so. And I feel like there's going to be advice coming from both partners toward people. Yeah. All right. We're getting towards the end of the, uh, the, end of the reading here. Got let go. You got, okay, let go and surrender the need to control your relaxed energy rapidly attracts your desires. I feel like you guys need to stop worrying so damn much. And then another thing is you need to let go of those just toxic, I, okay, I'm hearing toxic bullshit situations, okay? Let go of toxic bullshit situations. Um... It's safe for you to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. So I feel like it's safe for you to give power to this relationship. It's safe for you to step up and say, hey, this is how I think of you. But I also feel this is saying, hey, it's safe for you to feel confident in yourself as well. And that this confidence is very attractive to other people. And for some people, Gemini finds your confidence very, very fucking hot. They just find your confidence hot as hell. Okay? That's what I'm getting. What do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity, negativity will block your progress. So, somebody has been visualizing and daydreaming stuff and manifesting, I believe, as well. Since we had the magician in here as well, which was the manifester. And he basically manifests desires so they can come to fruition. Now, if you're really desiring something, really desiring something, and you are even desiring, hey, that true love, hey, this is... This is how I can come forward and tell this person very soon that, that I care for them. Um, visualize it. Hell, practice in the mirror if you have to. You know, but I feel like, Gemini, if you're trying to make an advancement towards somebody, they're going to accept you. Have confidence. Let yourself sparkle and shine. You're guided to be bold and show the bigger, your bigger than life side of the world. Sparkle and shine. Believe in yourself. I feel like some of you like to make people laugh. You like to make your partner laugh. You love making your partner laugh. You love being a joker. You love just being like... <laughs> I'm getting like... Kind of like class clown energy. Like You just... You like to see your partner smile too. And so you like to make them laugh. I feel like your partner really makes you smile. Man. Oh, man. You care for them a lot, Gemini. You're being watched over physically and emotionally and energetically. Spiritual protection. Your, your angels, God, 
you know, all of them. Your spirit guides are looking over you um, and really taking care of you. Um, the divine are stepping in, making sure that you're all right, making sure that everything's going to work out. And the divine are actually stepping in to give you this too. This is what is coming. This is what needs to happen, Gemini. If Gemini, this needs to happen if you're the one that's not communicating enough. Um, it needs to happen. Healthy communication relationships, heart-to-heart -heart discussions, and clear, assertive communication help you understand and be understood. So I feel like some of you may be very confused with Gemini. Um, Gemini is thinking about coming forward and, you know, having that healthy communication. But I feel like for some of you, Gemini had to work through a, uh, through a divorce first to um, get some shit together. And I feel like Mercury retrograde, since emotional healing was at the base of every Gemini, Mercury retrograde forced all Geminis to just go inside and to do some emotional healing but I feel like Gemini is going to be very ready for this healthy communication, this strong relationship. Gemini is making the effort to have this healthy relationship. So if you're wondering if they're making the effort, yes, they are making the effort because, you know, very soon some of them want to say something to you or vice versa. Like I said, this can play out from either side. Um, whoever's watching knows who is waiting for what. We got the two of action. Trust your ability and make excellent choices. There's an opportunity. There's opportunity all around you if you just continue to move forward. It may t be time to take take on a new partner who can help you s be a success in your career or creative endeavors. Keep your eyes on the big picture rather than the details of the moment. Keep your eye on the prize. Keep your eye on the prize. I'm hearing. Um, I feel like. I feel like your partner, your 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 lover may help you get through some shit and give you some insight. You got spiritual and religious community. Join with like-minded people for friendship, increase spiritual growth. I really feel like this this doesn't I feel like you need to spend time with friends, but I also feel like this is you finally coming together with your partner as well since healthy communication and relationships came out. I got to embrace those around you. It's time for great spiritual growth for you. You're making it even more important to surround yourself with those who love and share your beliefs will be willing to accept help from others. You could find comfort in traditional solutions or your heart may long to try out new ideas. And we're getting to down to the last two cards. Man, this is a big read for Gemini. We're on the last two cards now. All right. The, the spiritual teacher. There are great rewards in spending time alone use those moments of solitude to focus on loves and ways in which you might give to those around you shine your light and as, as an example to fo for others to follow seek out a spiritual mentor of your own if life feels unfulfilled right now so i feel like you know take that time to think about think you've been up in your head and you're taking that time to think about how to approach this whoever this person is that, that you just care for so deeply, you're taking that, you, you, when you're in your quiet time, you're thinking about them and saying, okay, how can I approach this situation? I also feel like you're thinking about how you can approach the situation on money because, you know, you're, you're trying to make this happy change come. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm here to tell you, with the magician also in the deck as well, because the magician came up, this is what you're manifesting. This is the Ten of Cups, a happy change. Um, your angels have heard your prayers and have banded together to create real and joyful changes in your life. Events begin to move forward, and great progress will now be possible. You need to make. You may need to make some rapid decisions due to the suddenness of activity. Be confident and trust the guidance you receive. So, you know, it's all going to work out, man. You got a happy change up. That's a good read for Gemini. That's a good read for Gemini. I'm going to gather these up and move on to deck number two for Gemini for April 2019 here. And see what we get here. All right. Um, grab a drink of water here. All right. Gemini deck two, for those of you that picked the... 
come up the force. That kid. All right. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Cars out. Okay. All right. All right. Gemini. You're too fast. This, you're coming out of this Ten of Swords energy. You are at an end of a cycle of bullshit. The cycle of bullshit is starting to end. That is what I'm hearing. Gemini, you have so many opportunities. And I feel like you're moving forward to those opportunities. You have the Seven of Swords here. This is not a sneaky energy. This does not feel like a sneaky energy. This doesn't feel like anybody's cheating on in the relationship. Nothing else. So because this is this does come with a love reading as well. Because I did pull Romance Angels cards. Um, this is not a sneaky card. This this Seven of Swords is not a sneaky card. This is Gemini maybe feeling uh, maybe failing to see some opportunities that have been given to him. Um, or maybe Gemini is not taking as many opportunities as they have, or some of, or for some of you, you're finally starting to see the bigger picture and see all these opportunities, see all these ways that you can do things. And I feel like a lot of you have a lot going on, but um, you guys have put two out of those five, two out of those seven swords down, and so you have the five swords there. So you are dropping some swords, you're dropping some weight. And you're saying, okay, I'm going to take hold of all these opportunities. I am going to take hold of my life. I'm going to get my shit together. That is what I'm hearing. I feel like you planted seeds in a relationship. Very, very good seeds. This is a deep-seated relationship. It's been slow moving. There might might have been some back and forth. And the reason why I say that is we got the Knight of Wands here. And then the Princess of the, the, the Empress, I felt... Um, compelled to put the Empress um, facing that way and the Knight of Wands away from her. And I feel like some of you may live at a distance as well. Um, this is a strong twin flame soulmate relationship right here because we got the Two of Cups. All right. With the Empress card, man. Gemini. Who are you thinking about? Who are you looking to, man? Who are you looking to? She's gorgeous. She takes care of herself. You love that she takes care of herself. And you want to, oh, man, you want to ravish her. You want to fucking ravish her. But at the same time, you really, I feel like you are getting your shit together because we got the Empress and him turning away from the Empress, which means like he may have been coming back and forth. Oh, but look at this. We've got the Knight of Wands and the Two of Cups. And then here's Wifey. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is the ultimate lover. All right. You see this person, whoever this Empress is, this is also her. And um, while you may have had some points where... You had to um, be away for a little while from her. You guys may have been in a little bit of separation, of course, because this is a, this, is a, this for some of you, this is a very strong twin flame connection. Um, and I feel like some of you may have been working on money in the process of doing this because we do have the Ten of Pentacles as well. We have Pentacles. We have money stuff in here. 
and money was at the base of the spread for Gemini as well. Okay. What else am I saying? Yeah, you're 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 ready to make a strong commitment. You you, you want to offer a strong commitment to this gorgeous woman that you just you see her so much. You may even fantasize about waking up next to her, being with her all the time. You don't want to leave when you're around her. You just want to stay with her. You want to force this. I feel like I feel like you, you've started to have this tower moment. This is this tower moment. I'm saying, uh, uh I'm fucking done. I'm done with this bullshit. I'm ready to take these opportunities. Look, I'm setting down two of those seven swords. I'm done with this bullshit. I'm moving forward. I'm having this tower moment. I'm done with the bullshit. Um, tower moment is all about transformation and change uh, coming your way. And it is happening. And I feel like... I feel like you st you're very solid in what you want. This this is not sex-oriented. But I feel like this, this is also describing something else. Um, you are very, very solid in what you want. Queen of Swords is just very, very sol solid... Um, I feel like you're, you're, you're wanting to let your guard down and I feel like you're really looking in, on the inside and trusting your gut because the high priestess is there. High priestess is all about new growth, um, growth from the inside out, um, trusting your gut, trusting your intuition. Um, and you know, in the spread, we do have the Prince of Wands again, looking at the Princess of Pentacles. So, man, you've been looking at this Queen of Pentacles. Now, this, this can also signal a little bit of an age difference as well in you two. Which, you know what? Age ain't nothing but a number. So, yeah. Oh, man. There's some kind of offer. You want to offer them stability. I really feel like stability's in there. And I really feel like... You are manifesting this. You're, you've been working so hard to manifest this. This relationship with somebody. But you're also working on manifesting financial security at the same time. We have the chariot here. You want to surprise somebody. Somebody wants to surprise somebody. Or if you're cross-watching for Gemini, Gemini may surprise you. And the surprise is, hey, the Ten of Pentacles here, man, man, they want this. They want this with their, with their lover. This Ten of Pentacles is financial stability, stability in home, family, everything. It's stability in relationships. It's all that stability. So you, you, you've you been looking stability in everything, all around everything. And you're just like, okay, I'm going to trust my gut. Because we have the high priestess here again. Man, you are really trusting your intuition. You were, t you're, I, I feel like you're reflecting on the situation and saying, okay, how can I best approach this? And, you know, maybe tell them my feelings because, you know, I've got this right here, the Ace of Summer. Open your heart to love. This is also known as the Ace of Cups. Hey, the Ace of Cups was at the base of the spread for Gemini in the beginning of the read. Like right before I did the readings, I had base spreads. And also we had the, the Death card as a transformation. So you're ready to make this transformation of getting out of this. This, this, is, this is this transformation. You are getting out of this bullshit energy right here. Death card is always transformation card. You went through some deep emotional healing. Don't be deterred by any delays because it's going to work out. Abundance is coming. Like I said, this was at the base of spread. The three of fire abundance coming in for you, Gemini. And man, new beginning or rebirth of a current relationship. Oh man. Some of you may be experiencing awakening and psychic abilities too. Like maybe you just kind of know that things are going to happen and then they happen. Um, man, you're moving forward because you want to know what, you want to know what comes after the Ten of Pentacles? Oh yeah, that Ten of Pentacles is going to happen. Because you get the Judgment card. And then, oh man, you're being watched over by Archangel Michael, man. 
Archangel Michael's in the Judgment card in the traditional deck. Now, Archangel Michael has got your back. Um, I'm hearing Uriel has got your back, too. Um, Mar Michael, Uriel, Raphael is what I'm hearing. And Gabriel. Michael, Uriel, Raphael, and Gabriel. Those are the archangels that have currently got your back right now. Ariel may be stepping in as well. Archangel Ariel. So, man, you, you, you've got some archangels looking over you, working through some shit. Man, they're watching over you. And they're, they're making sure you get to this. Oh, yes. Star card's all about success. But I also feel like this person... That Gemini's thinking about, man, they are the star card. You want to ravish them. They are they are like wifey material. They're strong, good relationship, wifey material to you. Man. Whew. That star card's all about success, man. You could be in a relationship with an Aquarius. Hmm, because that's an Aquarius card. I don't usually incorporate uh astrological signs because I'm not very, um, I'm not very, uh, bleh, what do I want to say? I'm not, I don't know a lot about the astrological signs in the cards, but I do know that the magician is Jemmy's card, Gemini's card, and I do know the star card is Aquarius card, probably because I'm an Aquarius, <laughs> so, yeah, and I know a Gemini, so, I care for a Gemini very, very much, in fact. I care for a Gemini very, very much. I'm very in love with a Gemini. All right. So I, I, I know the Gemini cards, and I know the Aquarius cards the most. All right. Anyways. <laughs> okay, Gemini, you've been having some unnecessary worries. What are these unnecessary worries here? What are these? What are these? Come on. Come on, Gemini. You all up in your head. Breathe. Breathe because the star card gonna happen. This manifestor's happening. You're manifesting this. This two of cups. This face of summer. I feel like your heart's becoming more open. Mm. Man, there's some unnecessary worries there. And some of you are just like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Why am I so fucking busy? And I'm hearing, mother fucker, why do I have to be so damn busy? You know, that's what I'm hearing. Some of you are just like, fuck, I'm tired of being busy. You know, like, <laughs> but here's the heightened intuition again. You are listening to your gut. Um, you know, I'm feeling like, oh man, somebody made you laugh today or somebody made you smile today something was said made you smile or maybe not even today like this this like the smiling part can make to be timeless maybe wh whoever whoever you're with makes you smile but you're ready to i'm i'm strongly i'm seeing i'm seeing a couple laughing together giggling together and you know just Having fun together, man, it's coming. And then we get the six of spring here. Wonderful news is on its way, man. Smart choices that bring rewards. Success and public recognition. There's success. There may be public recognition for the relationship. Um, some of you may have had to go through a divorce to make this here. Make this here, this Ten of Pentacles, happy home, money, family, make the commitment, um, make, make the full-on commitment to, hey, here's my time, here's my heart, here's my everything. Your prayers are being answered. This is the answered prayers card. All your great work has opened the door for deline, de, de, divine solutions and support. I'm sorry, the line. <laughs> And then we got the Ace of Fire. Ooh, an exciting new opportunity. Career advancement. 
Ooh, Gemini. Hello, hello, beautiful. Career advancements, I strongly feel career. Man, oh yeah, you're, you're figuring out this money bullshit. You're done with that money bullshit. It's going to get figured out. You're, you, you're figuring out all the time, the money, everything. You're figuring it out and you're bringing upon, the, you're manifesting this Ten of Pentacles energy, this stability of money, home, family, relationship, whatever. You are manifesting it. You are opening your heart and saying, hey, okay, all right, it's going to work. Um, make time for those around you. Ah, deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. Take a sensible approach. Go ahead and make the time for those people around you. I feel like this is making time for a relationship too. Like you want to make that time for a relationship. And this will happen. Gemini, Gemini, everything's going to happen all in divine timing. Perfect timing. Yeah, perfect timing. This is the right time to move forward. Yes, Gemini, if you're wondering if you should move forward and, uh, you know, confess these romantic feelings, do it. Um, some of you may be in separation, but I sense this separation is going to come to an end soon. Um, like I said, finances and career have been affecting the love life. Um, if you're with a Gemini, keep an open mind. Um, if you're... Mm, your partner also wants you to keep an open mind and know that they trust you. Some, in, in, you know, I feel like people trust you. I feel like you really want to disconnect and just take time with your, with your, with your lover. You want to disconnect from everything else and spend time with your lover because we've got Colin in their soulmate here. So, like I said, strong soulmate, twin flame connection in both readings for Gemini so far. Um, Gemini, your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well and cared for by God and the angels. So, Gemini, if you have kids, they are cared for. They are watched over by God and the angels. It's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I am watching over you, guiding you, and protecting you during these changes. We got Isaiah there. So, the angel of Isaiah. Spending time in nature is probably very therapeutic for you, Gemini. And if you don't, it's going to be very therapeutic for you. Um, apparently, I don't know if somebody's birthday is coming up. There may be a birthday coming up for somebody that, that holds significant value for people. Um, now, Geminis, you could be dealing with somebody's son or, um, or vice versa. Maybe, maybe this Gemini is a male and you're with somebody's son, you know, maybe, you know, but just know that, um, if you are dating a male Gemini, um, this male Gemini is being watched over by God and he's protected. And um, also this could be, if you are the son of somebody, you could be getting information from your family on some kind of situation. Don't you need to forgive Gemini? I feel like you may need to forgive yourself for something as well. There may be some bullshit happened in the past. Um, some kind of cheating happened in the past, I don't know, um, with a past relationship for some of you, or, um, maybe you need to forgive your parents. I don't feel like this cheating is current, though. I feel like, I feel like this cheating, if, if you're in a divorce, this cheating if you went through a divorce, Gemini, this is where the cheating took place, was in that, in that, in that past relationship that, that you got divorced from. If that resonates, go ahead and comment, leave me, let me know. But I strongly feel like this, this has something to do with why the divorce happened was cheating and you either need to forgive yourself or forgive them or forgive family members, but like... Yeah, forgiveness needs to happen, and and if 
feel like Jim and I may feel bad because they have they, they've been apart from their partner so much. Um, the divine didn't intervene to make sure you could do this emotional healing and get through this shit and make this transformation happen to come to this instead of you know all the bullshit. Because this is your transformation. You're letting go of the bullshit and coming into the Ace of Cups, which is success, divine intervention, the divine are making sure you have success. All right. All right, Ten of Action. You're working too hard, Gemini. The angels are asking you to find a healthy balance between your career and your personal life. Be willing to ask for help from others in order to lighten your load so that you can take better care of yourself. Straining to make others happy can be harmful for your health. So, this strongly feels like there's just too much work. There's just like, you're so fucking busy and you're sick and tired of being busy. I just, a lot of you Geminis are feeling worn the fuck out. Um, and I really feel like work has just been like, owning you. That's what I'm getting. You feel like work owns you at the moment. You feel like you never get a free moment. And and if you do get those free moments, you either want to sleep or you want to you, you want to go to this person. In those free moments, you want to go to that relationship. Yeah, you you want to you want to see your soulmate in those free moments. You want to go to bed in those free moments. Sleep and relationship or what you want in those free moments. You actually want to go see that person in your free moments. You want to go to bed in those free moments. Man, you want sleep and you want to see that person. You want to see your person and you want sleep. That's what you want in your free moments. And man, you just, you want more free moments for this right here. You're like, you just, come on. Give me, give me the time to get this. Give me the time to get this person, please. I'm sick and fucking tired of just being so damn busy. That is what I'm hearing. Like, there's so much frustration. I am, like, channeling. Oh, my gosh. I'm channeling that frustration. Man. Okay. Seven of thought. You've been confused about a situation in your life, and now suddenly ever is everything completely clear to you. Whether the truth was revealed by your angels, disclosed by a friend, or discovered on your own, it feels great to be awake and aware. Feel free to ask for time alone if that's what you need. So I feel like... <laughs> You're done being confused about a situation and you're, you're finding a solution. You're finding a solution. And some of, for some of you, it's moving careers. Um, or moving a place of career. It's just, I'm strongly hearing moving career. And you feel like this may be how you get this if you move your career. That clarity has come to you. Um... Which one? Okay. This is the one I feel. Guardian of emotion. This situation requires emotional maturity and total trust. You're surrounded by those who have only the best intentions so you can rely on advice you're given. Challenges will be resolved. This card also indicates a generous humanitarian, a refined person whom you can completely depend on. This could be in reference to these characteristics with yourself. So... The soulmate, Gemini, you can trust them with your life. I feel like you may even trust them with your life. Some of you may. But if you're worried you can't trust them, you can trust them. Look at this. Oh, man, nine of, nine of cups. Okay. Wish fulfillment, huh? Nine of cups. Uh-huh. Nine of cups. This is nine of cups in the traditional tarot deck. Wish fulfillment. This is a magical time in your life when wishes are granted and dreams come true. It may seem that good luck is following you, but actually these happy times are just your reward for a loving and wonderful person. Your angels are asking you to enjoy your life and have more fun. Now keep in mind, these readings can take place at any time. Um, I am doing a general reading. Some things may have already happened for you, Gemini. Some things may have not. Some of these, I, but I strongly feel like this is what's going to happen for you, is this wish fulfillment. 
you're going to find clarity. But I feel like right now you're just sick and tired of being busy. But you're going to find clarity. And you're going to get it all together. Man, this has been an hour-long read <laughs> for both my groups of Gemini. Um, Gemini, hang in there. <laughs> hang in there, Gemini. I'm getting don't give up because you're on the verge of a happy and healthy breakthrough. This breakthrough is going to offer you mental clarity, happiness, stability. Later on, there will be money stability. But they're saying don't worry too much about your money stability. I know you're worried about it. But as you kind of let go and let God or let go and just kind of give it and say, hey, because I feel like a lot of your, you, you do believe in God, um, let go, let God, or, you know, pr pray about it, stay in prayer with God about it, um, because your prayers are being answered right here, stay in prayer, your prayers are being answered. But as you relax and just kind of let God take care of the situation, it just naturally happens. Um, another thing that I want to recommend for you Geminis that are going through a rough patch is positive affirmations. Um, saying, hey, I know this is going to work out. Hey, I'm going to find a way. You know, say those positive affirmations in the morning. I feel like some of my Geminis are very depressed. Some of them, not all of them. Gemini, it's gonna be okay, okay? <laughs> and Gemini, your person, they love you very much. And you love them very much, I can feel it. Um, there's a lot of emotions in both of these decks. There have been a lot of emotions in both of these decks, but man, this. This deck's holding strong on the emotion, like you want to get back to your partner so badly. Man. You want that transformation, Gemini. That transformation is happening right now. You're going from the bullshit to the Ace of Cups energy, and the Ace of Cups energy is feeling fulfilled. Feeling like you've made it. So, thank you for watching, Gemini. <laughs> Hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Again, this is Gemini for April 2019. No times can bear.